In divorce, what happens to the income or appreciation of one spouse's separate property? Hi, I'm Dustin Peterson, and I am the OklahomaCityAttorney.com, and that is the question of the day. So, when you have income from a se uh, one spouse's separate property, and if that spouse is getting a divorce, uh, the other spouse is naturally going to want to get some of that property or some of that increase, right? Um, it happened during the marriage. Uh, you know, the income was acquired during the marriage. Um, why shouldn't the other spouse be entitled to it? So there's several different uh, schools of thought here. And the older version is essentially, um, is the income from the separate property jointly acquired? So in that sense, if one spouse had, let's say, a rental house from before the marriage, if that rental property was still generating income during the marriage, the courts might say, well, it wasn't jointly acquired, so the income is still separate property. Later on, however, um, the income during the marriage uh, from, from separate property can become marital property um, by means of, let's say, uh, marital labor. Um, well, so the um, spouse that owned the house uh, married a spouse who will bring in tenants, let's say, uh, for lack of a better analogy. Um, but through that marital effort, that income was generated through that house. And in that sense, the court might say, well, the joint industry therein means that the income generated from that house during the marriage is marital, even if the residence itself remains uh, one spouse's separate property. Um, and also, uh, 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 if income, let's say, results from economic forces, let's say, um, let's say one spouse owns stock in a company and through economic forces that aren't uh, considered marital effort, those stocks increase in value. Um, that will probably still remain separate property of the spouse that owned the stock because no amount of marital labor was involved in increasing its value. That also brings up the idea of appreciation of, of marital property. Um, so in this one, it can be very tricky. Some states, um, some states say that appreciation of a property, let's say, let's, let's go back to the rental house, appreciation of the of the rental property is marital if it occurs during the marriage, but maybe the income is not. While other states might take the same house and say that the income is marital, uh, marital, but the appreciation is not. And so it can get very tricky, and we have to get into these uh, uh, fissures of whether marital labor is involved or what is the nature of the property. Um, and, and there are a myriad questions that we can explore. And if you have questions about any of those, I, I encourage you to reach out to me at 405-888-5400 and let's talk about it. You can look me up also at theoklahomacityattorney.com.